Hi, I'm Andrew, the owner of AeroGrow. I'd like to thank you, first of all, for purchasing the 5-in-1 meter from AeroGrow. It's a great meter. We use it every day here at the labs, and there are a few things I'd like to show you to keep your meter highly accurate and dependable, regardless of what you're using it for. So one thing I want to mention about your new meter is that it has what's called auto calibrate recognition. So what that means is that it doesn't really matter what order you put these solutions in. Uh, the meter will detect what solution it's in the moment that it hits the water. So it's always best to stay organized when you're doing this. So I would keep them in order, but you don't specifically have to. So when we say that you want to recalibrate your meter periodically, what do we mean by that? periodically? Well, it depends how you're using the meter. I'll give you an example. In our case, we use these meters literally every single day. I'll walk around, for example, with this exact meter in my pocket, and I'll use it several times a day, and I'll use it all week long, and I'll recalibrate about every two weeks. And for me, that works quite well. That works out to be about 20 to 25 uses in between calibration. That's for the pH meter. The other functions of your meter are already calibrated at the factory. So today we'll just be covering pH calibration. It's super easy. Check this out. The first step in calibration is to mix up what are called the buffering solutions. Your meter or kit came with three buffering powders. There's a red, a green, and a blue. Now I will say when you're doing this at home, feel free to use any type of containers that you like to mix up these solutions, but the rule is that they must be either glass or plastic, and they must be absolutely clean. That's really essential. So if you don't have any containers like that, or you just like the look of what we have here, this is available from the AeroGrow website. Uh, it's a kit that includes these four jars with lids, well labeled, as you can see. Uh, it includes 15 packs of the powder. There are five of each powder. And it includes, and this is probably the best part, it includes this handy milliliter measuring cup, which will allow you to measure very accurately 250 milliliters, which is required for each of the solutions. So let's get started. Begin by emptying the contents of each buffer powder into the corresponding container. Four. Six. And nine. Then, add exactly 250 milliliters of water to each of the containers. Four, six, and nine. So to help get these powders totally dissolved, I like to use a teaspoon. Just make sure that whatever you use is made of either metal or plastic, and that it's really clean. It's super important that it's clean. So go ahead and stir the first one, the 4.0. And now what you're going to do with each of these, now I'm not going to do this for very long, I just want to show you how you do it. Stir this, and then before you do anything else, always come back to your distilled water, rinse it off, dry it off completely, then you can move on to your next solution, okay? So stir, over to the rinse, dry, repeat. To move on. Do the same thing every time and you will not have a problem with cross-contamination. Okay, so to begin, we'll start with the 4.0 solution. Dip it into the solution and press the calibrate button. One, two, three, four, five, let go. It's calibrating and when that stops blinking, it will be done. There it is, 4.0, right on the money. Rinse it off, Move to the next, dip it into the 6.86, and press and hold the calibrate button. One, two, three, four, five. Let go. Let it calibrate. Let it stop blinking. 6.86. Boom, right on the money. Rinse it off. Dry. Move on to 9.18. Dip into the solution, press and hold the calibrate button. Three, four, five. That's all there is to it. Calibrating your five-in-one meter couldn't be any easier. 
And if you enjoyed this content or found it helpful, please do me a favor, like the video, subscribe to the channel. There's a ton more content coming we think you're really gonna like. So until we meet again, I'd like to thank you for watching the video, and mostly, thank you for choosing AeroGrow.